All right, just gonna take a couple of minutes here to talk about video grounds. So uh, this is my test rig here. I've had this throughout the last seven years. I've got uh, controls and a 13 inch K7000 power supply, isolation transformer, speaker, power switch, all that, all that jazz. It's just sitting here on the upper sh upper tier of my uh, two tiered workbench. So I have Alter Beast here. This is going to be used for a restoration here shortly. Uh, but as you can see, it's not looking correct. Um, I picked this up in known working condition, and I had to get a JAMA adapter because Alter Beast is not JAMA. I plugged it in. And it did not look anything like the pictures from the uh, sale. I thought, okay, I, maybe I got hosed or screwed, but no. You can see this interference in the background and there's no white. Everything's supposed to be white is not white. I'll let this run here for a couple of seconds to get back to the attract mode where it shows the character morphing into the, uh, the altered beast. And you'll see that he's not looking correct. Everything is dark and black. Yeah, see, this is not right. Uh, anyone familiar with the game knows this is not right. I've been using this setup for the last seven years and have never encountered this problem ever until, there you go, see? Never encountered this problem ever until this moment with this particular board. I don't know why this board is so particular, but it is. Now, if we take a jumper lead here from attached to ground on the power supply, and I touch the frame of the monitor, watch what happens. Boom, normal, fixed. If I disconnect it, back to dark and messed up. Reconnect it fixed. So there you go. That's what that should look like. If I disconnect the ground again, it goes back to being messed up. So normally if this was inside of an arcade machine, you would have a ground from the factory. There's a ground from the chassis to the frame and from the frame to the power supply through other components in the arcade machine. But on my test setup here, I didn't have a ground from the frame of the monitor to the, the power supply. And for some reason, this board requires that to be there. And the seven years I've been using this setup, I've never had to have that happen. But see how, how that's much better if I disconnect it now. It goes back to dark. So in all these years, I've never had a board that needed that to be connected like this, this jumper. But this one does. For some reason, there must be it must not have a ground through circuitry or something from the JAMA harness. So anyway, yeah, if you have an issue like that, that looks all messed up and dark, and uh, you're not uh, sure that uh, it's correct and you check to make sure you have a, a ground from the frame of your monitor to the ground on your power supply make sure that's there and that should fix that problem up so i just wanted to talk about that show an example of what that looks like and uh, what it takes to fix it if you have a board that has uh, given you those problems especially ultra beast that's how you take care of that